All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to mod Subnautica through Vortex. And um, yeah, that's about it. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get to it. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is obviously download Vortex, like the mod manager. So all you're gonna do is go to Google or whatever um, search engine that you use and just type in Vortex modding. And it should be the first one that pops up. As we can see right here, it says Vortex mod manager by Nexus Mods. Make sure it's by Nexus Mods and nobody else because you know that's the reputable site to get Vortex from and it also uses Vortex for most of its mods anyway. So yeah, so we're just gonna click on that. It's gonna take us to this little screen. When we're not, now we're on the Nexus Mods website and then we can see it says Vortex, download the latest version now. So that's what we're gonna do. So just click on this. It's gonna take us to another downloading screen. All you have to do, <coughs> oh gosh, what happened to my voice? All you have to do is scroll down like so and then you'll see the first and latest version of Vortex right here. It says this will download the latest installer for Vortex and you just hit manual download. Don't download any of these other ones down here because these are the like outdated versions. The one at the top for any mod on Vortex, the one at the very top is the most up-to-date version as we, oh, and this update came out today. Actually, it came out a few minutes ago because this says 705 unique downloads. Yeah, just make sure the version of Vortex that you're downloading is the one at the very top. It's usually the one that's already like highlighted for you. You can see it says old files right here meaning that all of these are out of date. So whenever you click on Vortex, the manual download button right here, it's gonna say you need Windows 10 or above, which which we should already have, you know, if we're running Subnautica, because how are you running Subnautica on Windows 7? Unless, is that possible? I don't know. But you know, you need Windows 10 or above, which all, most of us probably already have, and then you need Net. And then the other thing you need is Net 6.0 Plus, which you should, I think you should already have, because I don't even think I had to install it whenever I was downloading Vortex, because it's like a, it's a program that comes straight from Microsoft, you know, the OS, not OS, the um the company that made the OS for the computer that you're already using. So I'm pretty sure that like core component is already installed in your computer because I don't think I had to install this whenever I was downloading my Vortex. It was kind of just there automatically. But in case you don't have it, just make sure you install that because it is kind of important. Make sure everything works. Make sure everything works properly. So now we're just going to click download. So now that we're here, we're going to click the slow download option because it says free above it. I had somebody tell me last time that they were trying to download mods from Vortex. I mean, not from Vortex, from Nexus mods, and they had to pay. And I was really confused because you don't have to pay for any of the mods on Nexus as long as you click the slow download option. If you click fast download, it, it'll take you to the premium option, which you do have to pay for. But you don't have to click that. You need to click the slow download option because that's what's free. Do not click fast download unless you're paying for premium already just hit slow download you know and it'll just download like so and free of charge you see at the top right it's downloading i just gotta sit up here and wait dang that took a hot minute to download it's only 163 megabytes okay anyways so now that we have vortex downloaded like the little application slash that dot exe that we just downloaded from nexus now we're gonna go to our downloads and our file manager you know if you go down here and you click on this yellow file thingy right here did i say file manager I meant to say file explorer sorry you click on the file explorer down here and head to your downloads as we can see that i'm at right now and then you'll see the vortex file that you just downloaded in here. So all you're gonna do is double click on it to open it up. And then it's gonna ask, you know, if you wanna make changes to your device, blah, 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 blah. You just hit yes. And now you just need to download vortex by following the little prompt. So it says, choose what folder you want to install vortex to. I'm just gonna do, you know, the regular old program files. So just hit install. All right, now it's done. So I'm gonna hit finish and it's automatically gonna run Vortex because I have this option checked. You can either uncheck it or check it, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna check it just to make things faster. So just hit finish and the Vortex is gonna open up. And we can see it already made a little shortcut in the bottom left hand, bottom left hand corner of my screen. I'm gonna move this shortcut up though so it's easier to see. Z Vortex Mod Manager. All right, so now I'm in Vortex, right? So whenever you, so I've already used Vortex. You know, I was like freshly modding Fallout 4 before I recorded this video. So I, I'm, I'm already like signed into everything. But whenever you open this for the first time, if it's your first time opening Vortex, you're gonna, it's gonna have like a big old, not big old square, but there's gonna be some stuff at the very top of the screen that's gonna like ask you to, if you wanna sign in and whatnot. So make sure you sign in because you need to sign into your Nexus account because it makes things like a thousand times easier when it comes to downloading mods. If you're not sure if you're signed in or not, 
that that's either going to be at the very top of your screen or whenever you look over here instead of it being like this little vortex symbol and it's going to have like your name right here and it's going to say log out instead of that it's going to be like a little red icon with like a person inside of it okay so i logged out just to show you an example of what it may look like whenever you first boot this up see i'm now now i'm not signed in so now when we look in the top right we see this like little red icon now because i'm not signed in but if you click on it it's just going to take you straight to nexus it's going to like open like a new tab it's going to take you to nexus mods and then it's going to ask you to sign in and if you haven't signed in ever before you know it's just going to ask you to you know input your sign in information your login information you know like your email username password etc and then after you put that in it's going to show a similar screen to what mine looks like it's going to say vortex would like to authenticate your account view your profile information email address you know so it can link vortex to your nexus account you know so just hit authorize and now you've successfully authenticated with your nexus mod account click below to continue you just click in and now it's going to take you back to vortex and you're signed in so really simple easy process to sign in just make sure you follow the prompts on the screen whenever it says like log in or make a new account if you don't already have one so now that we are signed into vortex we need to set up subnautica within vortex so now we're just going to click on the games tab over here and there's a few tabs you see dashboard downloads games extensions knowledge base and settings just click on games and it's going to take you to you know the different games that vortex has and it's available to be modded i don't even know if that was proper english um okay but well, we can see like i was saying earlier i already have my fallout 4 managed because i was modding that before 116 active mods and of course about 20 of them are giving me trouble i already have that managed so if we scroll down we can see there's 400 unmanaged games and in here you'll see you'll find subnautica if you scroll down far enough but it's way faster to just click on the search bar at the top and just type in subnautica because it starts with an S, so it's gonna be near the bottom of the screen. You're gonna do a lot of scrolling. So, so when we hover over Subnautica, we can see it says manage. All we're gonna do is click on manage, right? And now it's gonna give us this little prompt that says game support not installed. If support for this game is provided through an extension. To use it, you have to download that extension and restart Vortex. So it's automatically gonna show you this. If it's your first time using Vortex with Subnautica, all you have to do is hit download because it's gonna download the Vortex support for Subnautica so you can actually use Vortex with Subnautica so it's like a mod that you take that you like 1000% have to have otherwise this won't work like nothing you do after this will work if you don't have this this part done so make sure you do this whenever this pops up so just hit download it's going to automatically restart your Vortex the Vortex just restarted now I'm back here so now if we click on games again we can see our Subnautica is now in here in the manage tab right and if we click on extensions you'll be able to find this little thing that says Subnautica support right here, which shows that, you know, everything installed as it was supposed to. And now your Subnautica has Vortex support, which is, you know, something that it a thousand percent needs if you're going to be modding with Vortex, you know, so just make sure, make sure you get this step done before you proceed with anything else. You know, if this does not work, nothing else after this is going to work. So make sure you do this and make sure it works properly so now the Subnautica says manage you know it said now it's being managed by vortex and whatnot so now all we have to do is go to nexus and download whatever mods we want essentially so before we go to nexus and start downloading other mods you know even though Subnautica's in the manage category right here we say we can see it says zero active mods and whatnot you should have gotten a notification up here whenever you first whenever your Subnautica entered your manage tab because it'll say Bepinex is not installed Bepinex is required to mod Subnautica now that depends on which version of Subnautica you're using if you're using legacy Subnautica I'm not sure if this is going to pop up and I'm probably going to do a separate video I'm probably going to do a separate video showing how to do this with legacy Subnautica but for today we're just going to do 2.0 Subnautica so it says Bepinex is not installed Bepinex is required to mod Subnautica and it gives you a little prop to get Bevanex, so we're just gonna click on that. It's gonna automatically take us to Toby's Bevanex pack for Subnautica. We just go to Files, and we're not gonna hit Manual Download because we're not downloading stuff manually. We're doing it through a mod manager this time. So you're gonna hit on, you're gonna hit on, don't don't hit on the mod manager. You're gonna click on the mod manager download button, and you can see it says Vortex Subnautica support is required. But again, we already have that, so do not worry when that pops up. So just hit on download hit on download why do i keep saying that just click download and then go to slow download right here it'll just download do to do to do to do to do okay the download has started if we go back to vortex you download yep it says one right there and now it just installed it just installed on its own and vortex you don't have to worry about putting your files anywhere or anything like that because vortex automatically sorts 
all the files it just shows it just puts the files essentially where they need to go without you having to do anything so now it says one active mod now we have Beppin X, another core mod for modding Subnautica, and now we can just install whatever mods we want now. So now we're gonna go to the Subnautica modding Nexus, and we're just gonna download, you know, whatever mods, just to show you an example. Just to show you an example that this process did work, really easy way to find or get to get to the Subnautica modding Nexus is to simply go to your search engine, go in the search bar and type in Subnautica Nexus, and then it'll be the first thing that pops up by Nexus mods again, so just click on. And okay, uh, we're not, we're gonna steer away from that mod. Um, yeah not not sure what that was all about let me let me find a mod that i want so let's download the beluga mod right so i'm gonna go up here i'm gonna type in beluga we can see beluga submarine atlas concept yada 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 so we're gonna click on this i'm just gonna download the beluga mod just as an example you can download whatever mod you want to make sure that this works it's entirely up to you but i'm gonna use the beluga because I know for sure this mod has multiple requirements. So, so head to the file section right here and then scroll down until you see, you know, the main files for whatever mod you want. In my case, it's gonna be the Beluga. So I'm gonna click on Mod Manager Download and we can see this mod has additional files that you need. So we can see Toby's Beff and X pack, which we already have installed. It's the first thing that we installed, so we don't need to worry about that. I do need to install Nautilus, so all I'm gonna do is click, I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna hit Open Link in New Tab so it doesn't like take me off of this tab. Just makes things a whole lot easier and then i also need vehicle framework so i'm also going to open a link in a new tab with that mod and download all that so now we're going to jump over here to nautilus and we're going to go to the files and download nautilus as well bev and x pack we already have so we don't need to worry about that additional file hit slow download i'm going to go ahead and install click back and we can see in the bottom right hand corner it says downloading from nexus nautilus and now it says two active mods. We click in here. Oh, I don't want to start the game actually. Right, sorry. So if we click on mods, it'll show you all the mods that are already installed into your Subnautica. So we can see I just downloaded Nautilus. So now it's in there. And we can also see Toby's Bep and X pack is also in here. Now we're going to download the vehicle framework mod. Go to files again and then click on stable because we're downloading 2.0 mod. Not 2.0. We're downloading the 2.0 version of the vehicle framework mod. We're not going to download the legacy one because we're not using legacy Subnautica. Just download the most up to date version of vehicle framework and as we can see nautilus bep and x pack are also additional files but we already have those installed so just hit download just make sure you're paying attention whenever it's telling you to download like additional files for a mod to work because if you don't download those additional files the mod that you want is likely not going to work or not might not work properly uh somebody was telling me that the vehicle framework mod said it wasn't safe or something now I'm not sure like I'm not sure if it was popping up that it wasn't safe to download whenever you like clicked on it on your computer or what but I know it says virus scan right up here and it says some files haven't been scanned so if we scroll all the way down we can see which file specifically hasn't been scanned it was one that was uploaded December 3rd 2024 there's a question mark right here meaning that this virus this file has not been this virus <laughs> this file hasn't been scanned for viruses but we can see all the other ones have this blue blue am i colorblind the, all these other ones have these have this green check mark on them including the one that i just downloaded meaning that it's safe to use and you can click on this little green check mark to see the report that it ran on everything you know if you want to be just extra extra safe you can look at every little thing in nice detailed manner but as far as like mods go if you see this green check mark next to it, it and you hover over it it says safe to use meaning that the file has has been scanned and it's safe to use now if it's red if there's like a red x that means that the file i believe that means the file hasn't been scanned and i would definitely avoid those mods just in case you know and i'd also avoid the mods with the like with this little um exclamation mark or the yellow question mark whatever just because they haven't been scanned and i don't really like taking chances with my uh laptop my information things like that so yeah i'd rather just not take the chance at all so we got vehicle framework installed we got nautilus installed and now we can just install our beluga submarine click download let's go back to vortex you can see it's in the downloads you can see it downloading right here okay now it's installed downloading from nexus beluga and now our beluga submarine is installed now we got the vehicle mod that we want to test out make sure it all worked properly and whatnot so we got our little mod that we're going to test out for today we downloaded our beluga submarine and the beluga has two other mod requirements it needs nautilus and the vehicle framework mod as well as bepinex but we already had that so just downloaded nautilus and downloaded the vehicle framework mod the latest version of it and now we have our beluga submarine right here so now all we're going to do is look at the top left hand corner you can see this little play button right here I'm just going to hit launch and it's gonna open your Subnautica. You know, it's automatically just gonna run your game. 
with your mods enabled. So now our Subnautica is running, we can see I'm in Subnautica and game opened and all that jazz. So now we click on options, right? And when you click on options, you should see this little menu at the bottom that says mods and it'll show you all the mods that you have installed and whatnot a lot of people were telling me that they were not seeing this mod section pop up and if you don't see this mod section pop up after installing all your mods then it's likely like a core mod that you missed mainly bep and x may have been installed like incorrectly or you may have missed something there so i would just i personally would just reinstall everything like a few times because sometimes that's literally i, I kid you not sometimes that's all it takes for stuff to start working again just like delete every Thing and then reinstall it fresh and then everything just starts working again you know it's i don't know why it does that sometimes but you know it, it does work occasionally if it doesn't work if that doesn't work just let me know in the comments and i'll see what i can do as far as like helping you goes i'm not like a technical wizard or anything like that but i will do my best to try and help your issues and whatnot so now i'm just going to start up a new game let's just do um all right we're in subnautica and we can already see it installed because it says blueprints beluga but i'm going to spawn it in just to make sure it works and everything like that all right so now we're in open land Open land. We're in some open water. Let's check our blueprints and see if the beluga is in here. Right? Scroll down, and we can see beluga submarines right here. Gigantic vessel made to explore the deepest and most dangerous environments. Yada, yada, yada. So let's spawn beluga. And there is our beluga submarine looking nice and pretty. No, like, texture glitches or anything like that that we're seeing. Everything looks all nice and pretty. So now we're just going to head on the inside and see if it actually works as far as like moving goes. And we can see submarine works. I mean, I'm driving around, moving around. I can go up and down and whatnot. We downloaded an outdated version of the Abyss vehicle mod, right? But it's not showing us exactly that it's outdated. So what we're going to do is hit check for updates and it should tell us. Yep, you see? Check for mod updates, one update found, and we can see which mod needs to be updated. Mod can be updated, but you will have to pick the file yourself, so we just click this. It's going to automatically take you back to the website, or back to the mod specifically that you downloaded, so you can download the, you know, most up-to-date version of that mod. So, if you're unsure if your mods are all up to date, just click that check for updates section up there. Or just click that check for updates button up there, and it'll show you what mods need to be updated, so, you know, make sure everything's running correctly. But yeah, other than that, that is how you mod Subnautica through Vortex. Very simple, straightforward process. And yeah, if you encountered any problems or anything like that throughout the modding process, you know, just feel free to let me know so I can help you as best as I can. The more specific you describe your issue, the better I can help you, I feel like. The more vague, you know, if it's, if it's more like a vague description that I get, then I have to sort of like ask more questions to figure out like what specifically may have went wrong. Whereas if you, you give me like a really good description off rip, you know, I can read through everything and be like, okay, something may have went wrong right here in this specific part. You know, it's just it's just a lot easier. But yeah, other than that, that is about all I had for y'all. Thank you all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope this video was helpful, and I will see y'all in the next one. I'll do a legacy version of this as well later on. Just just throwing that out there. So yeah, peace.